Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and other videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll do a brief review of Sony CX455 Handycam and also I'll have some test clips at the end of this review. Sony CX455 Handycam is a portable Handycam and first I'll talk about the positives and then I'll talk about the negatives of this handicap. So the first thing, picture quality. The picture quality or video quality is excellent both indoor and outdoor, in low light and daylight. So I had no problem or I have no complaint in that section, uh, the amazing picture quality and uh, you'll see uh, that in the test clips I'm attaching image stabilization it has a very good image stabilization with intelligent active mode and when I was doing the video uh, and walking at the same time still I didn't feel a significant amount of shaking or blurriness so in terms of image stabilization uh, there's no complaint sound quality uh, this portable handicam has surround sound quality uh, which is very uh, good quality sound capturing for a tiny device like this so I have no complaint in that section zoom the Sony CX455 Handycam has 30 times optical zoom and 40 times digital zoom and if you see some of the objects I are trying to zoom in, uh, then you'll be amazed with uh, how close you can see the objects. So this is a very uh, good uh, feature to uh, let you record uh, images or objects that are in far distance, but still you can have a very clear and crisp uh, shot with the zoom function. So that's a very good feature and. Uh, I have no complaint about that. Still picture. The still picture capability is at 9.2 megapixel. Uh, however, in order to take 9.2 megapixel pictures, the camera has to be on recording mode. Uh, what it means that you have to record and take pictures at the same time, and then it will be able to capture 9.2 megapixel camera uh, still pictures. If you do not do that, if you just want to take uh, still pictures, then this is not, it doesn't have actually a good uh, picture megapixel. Uh, so this is not really for to take still pictures. So overall, in terms of all the positives uh, for a camera, uh, which is not priced that uh, high-end camera for example uh, this cost below $500 so it's somewhere between four to five hundred dollars Canadian dollars uh, it's a very good camera and with all these positives uh, I have no complaints about that and now I'll talk about the negatives and uh, what I do not like about this camera just another feature I'd like to mention that the LCD screen is a touch screen which is a very good uh, thing to have and it has the capability to zoom in and zoom out uh, pinching on the LCD screen which is just like using your smartphone so if you are used to taking uh, pictures with your smartphone or doing video with your smartphones you like that feature where you can zoom in or zoom, zoom out or uh, track a subject just touching on the uh, LCD screen so that's another feature I like okay now let's talk about the negatives or the things I do not like about this camera so the first thing I do not like on LCD screen it does not show the recording time for example if you are recording with your cell phone or most cameras you'll be able to see for how long the camera is recording for example one minute two minutes ten minutes but this camera does not have that feature so you kind of you're kind of in the dark and you'll not be able to see how long you have been recording for or how much time has passed since 
you started recording so that's a feature I do not like the second feature I do not like is the video file format or recording format so it it mainly records in two formats X A V C S and A V C H D. Now if you choose X A V C X then it has the capability to record in MP MPEG4 at the same time. However, the MPEG4 recording will be at 720 not 1080 P H D and that takes a lot of space and I chose to uh, I choose to record in AVC HD because it gives me more space and I do not need the dual recording uh, because uh, AVC HD is the one I can use however I would love to have the feature where it has a recording mode only at MPEG 4 so I do not have to record in AVC HD or XAVCS format so if you want your recording format just to be in MPEG 4 this camera doesn't have that cap capability so you have to do that uh, by recording it in XAVCS format however then it takes so much space that you don't want to do that and the other issue is that uh, you have to convert XAVC uh, from XAVCS or AVC HD format to MPEG 4 format if you want to get MPEG 4 format out of this camera. So that's a negative thing about this camera I do not like. The other thing I can complain about, but it's not a big deal, is that battery. The battery actually doesn't go inside the camera. You just clip it to the camera and it's kind of it sticks out on the camera and it gives me the feeling that the battery is going to fall from the camera although I know that that's not going to happen but I wish it would have the feature where you insert the battery and there's a battery cover so it doesn't give you the feeling that the camera and the battery is falling out of the camera but uh, it's not a big deal so these are the main positives and negatives I can think of this camera overall I'm happy with my purchase uh, the picture quality and the video quality is uh, amazing and most uh, and the image st stabilization is really good and uh, it can do excellent uh, video quality in both dark and in daylight so that's uh, an important feature to have now I'll touch some test clips which I took around my condo and it, it's in downtown Toronto and you'll be able to see uh, some of the clips and image uh, still pictures and you'll be able to judge by yourself how is the video quality and the video I took there done in AVC HD format uh, XAVC S format would record slightly better quality picture but I chose not to have that format because it takes so much space so AVC HD is the format I recorded all these clips and it's fine for me so enjoy the clips and uh, that's all for today and if you like what you see please uh, hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up that's all for today. Thank you.
60 times zoom. And let's see how it works.